Hey guys, and welcome back. So if you've never been here, my name is Tiffany with Hot Mess Planning. I'm so glad you guys came. So today I wanted to do a little bit of an inside of my bullet journal. So I know that I've showed how I planned June, but I kind of wanted to do a little bit of how I planned the beginning of my journal and how it helps me. So the bullet journal is not your typical book for me. Um, I don't necessarily use it as a planner. So uh, I just kind of wanted to give a little insight to it. Um, you know, my favorite thing about the bullet journal is that there's not a specific system that has to be used in it. It's 100% yours and what you make of it. So when you open my bullet journal, um, I did not mention that I do have the Dingbats version. Um, so inside I just have a little bit of a key and I use this in both of my planners. So I take this out and use it whenever I need it. So I didn't want it stuck inside the book. Next, I have this page where you mark the sides. However, I attempted this and I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong or what is going on, but I cannot see the color on the sides. So this to me wasn't very useful. Um, I've seen a lot of people who are able to use this and it's great. However, for me it wasn't, so I haven't used it. Again, it may just be error, you know, user error. This page is my color key and my dingbat key, as they call it. Um, this is just kind of the same thing as this, so I don't really reference it too much. The index. I have my future log set up. So one thing that I noticed in my previous book is that although vertical planning works for me in the sense of like my Erin Condren and more structured planning, when it comes to the bullet journal, horizontal planning works a lot better. So my brain is able to see this, know exactly what's going on and function with it. As for the last one, I was not able to do that in the vertical style. So I do have a calendar where I just mark with my key, the squares and circles and the colors. And then over here is where I keep track of our birthdays. I really haven't done July. Um, I did not foresee me being in this journal in July. Uh, so I will go back and do this once July gets closer. This is kind of my start to the year, although I technically started the year in my last journal, but I did want this to be a focus. I had attempted to draw a picture on this page, but as I'm sure I've said before and will say many, many more times, I am not artistic. So I printed a picture out, I traced it with pen, put some marker in there, and then wrote a quote. On this page, I found this quote that is, do not wish to be normal by Tanya Markle. And this just kind of breaks down, you know, people always say, well, what does normal exactly mean? And this kind of breaks it down for you. So I did transfer over my 2019 word of the year and the areas that I want to work in as well as my goals and then another quote by the mind's journal that i liked um i have my books to read page and then once they are read they will come over here onto my book i have um a quick reference for bible verses when you feel alone or need encouragement um this is just kind of a reference page for me. Um, this as well, something you'll notice throughout my bullet journal is that I use a lot of motivation. That's really what the bullet journal is for me. It's a place where I can put my thoughts and feelings and get that motivation from when I know I'm struggling with something. Um, I am someone who is very strong in my faith, so of course my motivation is centered around that. 
Um, some people have it centered around something else. It's just whatever you need in that moment. So something else that I put is kind of the thoughts that we have as you know humans and then kind of God's answer to that. Um, I do have a budget page. I have things that I am done with, um, just things that I have focused a lot of attention on and things that I want to work on for the year. Family's favorite memories. So each month I do plan to go in here and mark some of the favorite things that we did this that month. Um, I plan on keeping each month one color so that I know that they are grouped together. But this is where I just want a snapshot of everything that has happened, good or bad, just big things that have happened so I know where to go back to and reference. A when did I last cleaning sheet, things you can control. Again, just kind of a reminder that you only can control what is inside of you. You cannot control others. A master grocery list, 12 ways to love yourself. Um, another thing that I wanted to focus on this year was just more self love and loving myself the way that God loves me. Um, this one's self explanatory, just a period tracker. Uh, my summer semester, I have not updated this yet. Um, my second class, my professor did update or open the class a little late. So I was not able to update this when I was on my first class. Um, a summer weight tracker. So I wanted to kind of keep track of my weight as the summer went on and see how much my weight fluctuates each week. Um, I am someone who fluctuates not like two pounds, but maybe 10 pounds um, in a week, depending on how it goes. So I wanted to keep track of that. Um, I have a step tracker here and then it goes into the month. So I am not going to show the months um, because as some of you know, I set them up and then after I set them up, it becomes kind of more of a journal for me. So I do have May is marked with this washi, June is marked with this washi. So I do have a separation with that washi so that I know where that month starts. In the back of my planner, I have our favorite meals so that when I'm struggling with my meal planning, because I do plan to try to keep my meal planning in this, um, I've noticed when I struggle, this is a section I can go back and look on and see what meals I haven't planned for that month that I can throw into the meal plan. And then I have the Fly Lady Detail Cleaning List. My goal this year was to get more centralized in a cleaning routine. However, that has not happened yet, and it is almost July. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I do have it here just in case I ever, you know, <laughs> feel like I want to start. Um, one thing that I did want to mention that when I got my Dingbats book, as you can see, I had to washi the pages in because my pages started to fall out. So I was kind of a little frustrated about that. It's only these back pages that were perforated already, but they were falling out at the seams. So I'm not sure what was going on or if I just got a faulty one, but that was kind of a little frustrating, but as you can see, I fixed it because it started coming out after I put all my stuff in. I have just some reference pages for colors and the dot grid spacing page. And then of course I don't have anything in the back. So this is kind of how I'm using my Dingbats journal. One thing that I have noticed is about every month it changes. Um, I add something new or I take something away or I change up how I'm using it. Um, and sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. I know for the month of June, I have not used it a whole lot because there were a lot of changes that I made that just kind of separated me from it. So my goal is to get back into it and then July, pick back up where I was and use what I know works for me and not use what I know does not work for me. Um, 
So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I love when you guys interact. And thank you guys so much for spending time with me today to look into my Dean Bats bullet journal. And I hope you guys have a blessed week. Bye.